All's well that ends well for Filipino seafarers who were part of a crew of a ship that was attacked by Houthi rebels but are safely home. Noel Talakay gives us an update on this development live. William, the second batch of the repatriated Filipino seafarers of MV Trans World Navigator have arrived at the Ninoy Aquino International Airport on AIA Terminal 3. Kay from Cebu arrived at the Ninoy Aquino International Airport or Naia Terminal at 3 this afternoon. She patiently waited at the Terminal 3 just to give her husband a hug of love and gratitude. Gusto ko siyang makita agad, sir. Tapos ma, ano siya ba, parang ma-comfort siya kasi grabe yung trauma nila. Her husband, Mark Garcia, is one of the eight seafarers of the MV Trans World Navigator who arrived at the Naia Terminal 3 tonight. Pupunta muna kami sa simbahan, tapos magpasalamat sa ano namin, yung sa patron namin sa Cebu. This was the second batch of the repatriated seafarers who were crew members of the vessel. They were on board Cathay Pacific with flight number CX903 that landed at the Naia Terminal 3 before 8 o'clock tonight. Secretary Hans Leo Kak DAC of the Department of Migrant Workers or DMW took the lead in welcoming the second batch's return home together with the other agencies like DOH to provide the repatriated seafarers immediate medical help and OWA for more assistance. Medyo ngayon uh, kasama nila si, ano, si Kapitan. So may mga officers na kasama pati si Kapitan nandun uh, mukhang uh, mas okay sila. So mas uh, tao dito, uh, hindi naman sila ganun ka, ka hindi, naman, sasa, hindi ko masabing affected, pero syempre affected sila, pero mas, ano sila, mas kalmado sila. Previously, the first batch with a five Filipino crew arrived in the country Sunday afternoon, June 30. The MV Transworld Navigator was attacked by Houthi rebels while passing through the Gulf of Aden last week. 27 of its crew members are Filipinos. According to the report, all of them were affected by the attacks. Meanwhile, the remains of the two Filipinos seafarers of the MV True Confidence arrived at the cargo area in Paranaque City at 9 in the morning today. They were on board from Dubai via Philippine Airlines or PAL. To recall, the MV True Confidence was attacked by Houthi rebels last March 6 while passing through the Gulf of Aden. The 15 Filipino crew of the vessel was captured, but eventually 13 of them were released while two others lost their lives. William, um, earlier, uh, the initial count that DMW provided us was only eight, uh, but uh, before we go on air, uh, one of the official of DMW confirmed that there were 10 seafarers who returned home tonight. William? You mentioned that several government agencies will uh, be providing assistance and support to the seafarers. Can you tell us uh, what particular kind of aid uh, will be given? That's correct, William. There are several aid or help that will be provided to the seafarers, but one of which are like uh, financial assistance and uh, livelihood program. That, that is to sustain their needs and for, for them to provide the needs of their family while they are staying here in the Philippines until they are going to go back to work. Okay, and uh, Noella, lastly, what will happen to the remaining uh, Filipino crew? Yes, William, there is still another um, 12 more uh, Filipino crew of the vessel and uh, DMW confirmed that they will be arriving later at 12 midnight. Okay, thank you very much. Noel Talakay reporting live.